close-up shot of my face. Here's my nose. Hey, it's Rich Birdsall, and we're here on another episode of Odd Jobs at Upstate Shredding. Here with me is Nicole. What are we doing today? Today we're going to be running the shredder, and then we'll find some other stuff for you to do out in the yard too. All right, let's go shred some stuff. <laughs> Up we go. Looks like a truck or something coming down here. And it's gonna enter this steam down here. And if you look up here, you can see it get mushed with the infrared camera. And then it ends up looking like all that. So that right there is the remnants of your old beater car. One that blew a head gasket and you took it out of there? Won't blow a head gasket. Just so you know, as we're standing here, we're in the tower. We're way up above everything. And this is shredding stuff so hard, you can feel this whole room like move. It's pretty awesome. Now, I know you've got steam in here. What happens if something catches on fire? You got a real hot day, steam is doing what it needs to do. This blue ball right here, yeah. if it starts to come out from the middle, if you hit this, it just floods. Floods the holding water. Uh, and, and you always want to keep make sure you keep everything moving, too. You don't ever want to stop. This is glass. If this metal comes flying up through here, what happens? This is all bulletproof. Uh, it's bulletproof. Oh, yeah, it's so if something explodes, you're just going to have a small crack or some scratches, you're going to go. Oh, yeah. Like if uh, you get a fireball, you can feel the heat come right to the windows. Yeah. Pull back on that joystick right there. Yeah. And if you watch right here, it'll show you how far you're lifting it up. How far up do you want it lifted? You usually see that yellow line? Yeah. Right about there, it's usually okay. So you just keep doing it until it stays well, up there? Well, see, and then this can go in auto. Too. Right, but right now I'm, I'm running right it manually. Yeah. Trying to, anyway. Try to land the roll feed right in the middle so that it doesn't come right in and slam against your rotor and then you can feed it in gradually. Alright, so here comes a car. You can slide it the other way over here and that pulls in reverse. That's a neutral. You can go all the way over. Then it pulls in reverse. You gotta see it stop right here. It does. And then if you get anything stuck, that's how you usually go get it out of there. Alright. So we'll go back to forward because I'm sure the guy loading this here is like, what, what, what's going on? Yeah. Well, radio guys will go through the ground. It'll come up when it's uh, on your side. That was a Mercedes. Was. You ready to move on? Yeah, let's All go. Right. Where are we going now? Uh, we'll go, we'll go get some, we'll get dirty. All right, let's All go right. get dirty. Paul's just taking us into the motor room. All the stuff that I was running upstairs with these guys is in here. He's just running the crusher, the conveyors. Everything. Paul tells me that it is 10,000 horsepower on that crusher, and you can hear it. So in here, we have guys that can pick material that the magnet didn't catch was coming through the shredder. Right. Let's go hand sort some stuff. We're up here hand sorting the clip. Let's go in the video. So what he said is he's picking garbage like tires and the motors and the, the little things that aren't supposed to be in the shredder right now, right? Yeah. All right. Down the 
the conveyor belt. And then they went into that thing that was on the, the heat screen there. The, this is what's punching the Sam peel out of the metal to make it into those small parts. Yeah. And the reason it spray 10,000 horse, which one it was, right? 10,000 horse motor is, and these things, I can't even move them. They are literally hundreds of pounds. I just got my finger in between two of them, so I know. Look, it's still straight, we're good. Here is the finished product. This is everything that we just crushed, sorted, and shit. Ready? So this reminds me of the magical garbage pile at Fraggle Rock. Am I, uh, am I too old? Yeah. You don't go with Fraggle. You see wires and stuff in pretty much all your electronics in your car. That, this is where it ends up. This is all metal. Yeah. How do you get it out? What the call was telling me is that all that wire comes through this plant and gets chopped up smaller and smaller and smaller. You know, right? So look at that. All that wire we saw outside that just looked like stuff we ripped out of a car or out of your stereo after the sorting after everything is just a hundred percent this pure copper you know I'm a radio guy and uh, some stuff makes me sad that, that, that made me sad button still works all right, well, I want to thank you so much for the tour. I really, really appreciate it. Please thank Adam, the guy who gave us full, unbridled, complete access to the whole place. That was pretty awesome. Anytime. I mean, that was quite an experience, running shredders and stuff. I, I would have never had a chance to do it if it wasn't for this nice lady and Adam. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you for coming. Yeah, that's another episode of Odd Jobs at Upstate Shredding.